Love. 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 Expecting the highest good, believing for the best, for the one that you love. I understand it as good because the Bible says uh, in Romans that every sin will be over like face and hope, but love will remain. It looks like to me it's five, five things. The first one and the biggest one is Jesus. I have Four other small hearts. I'm the second. Here is my family, the third one. The fourth one is the church. And the last one, friendship. helping or caring about somebody even if you have to go out of your way to make sure that their day is good or that their life is better just so that they can feel God's love and God's presence around. So for me love means everything. Love is life for me. So as I always share with my friends and love means love is the greatest weapon for me. So even to reach the people even as I say, you know, even to help people, every people, those who are in need, that means, that does not mean they need money or clothes or whatever. They need love. They need someone to love them. So that was my greatest weapon to reach people. So love is Jesus. So loving people means like loving Christ and serving people. So I learned a lot from Christ. The greatest thing that I learned from Christ is love. Love looks like feeding your dog. It's a revelation of His love in our hearts. And when you really understand how wonderfully He just loves us and accepts us and just favors us. And uh, it, it's a lot easier to love other people, but once you understand that... Yeah, love begets love, and we love mm -hmm. because He first loved us. And yeah. so our love is a response. When the sin issue is taken care of, then our love is just the overflow of the grace that we've received. And yeah, we can't love others until we, we know how much that Jesus loved us. Yes. And, to give, to sacrifice, and to endure. Mm -hmm.
love is confirmed with actions. There are some actions that will confirm that you really loves me. Show me your actions and I'll tell you how you are to me. That's sexy. <laughs> like a total mess, life interrupted, no times for showers, waking up at 3 o'clock in the morning when the police come and say, Happy Mother's Day, I got two kids for you who are covered in lice and filthy dirty and half not dressed, ministering to the, going into the darkness and pulling people out of the darkness and bringing them into the light and just loving them unconditionally. That's what love looks like, total chaos. Love looks like 39 people from completely different backgrounds and places starting a journey as strangers and ending as an eternal family, knowing what it means to love and grow in grace as the body of Christ.